Hey everybody, uh, Jesper Brodin here together with Christian Mumenthaler in uh, Davos at the World Economic Forum. Uh, we are the proud uh, co-chairs of the World Economic Forum uh, CEO Climate Alliance. And this has been a very important week and a milestone in the progress that we are doing together. So Christian, would you like to comment a little bit? What are your impressions of this week? Yeah, I think I was uh, positively surprised because there was a bit of talk uh, before Davos that the, uh, the war in Ukraine, the energy crisis, everything would uh, make people deviate from the overall targets and the, the understanding that climate change is a huge risk. Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen that at all. I, I'm really encouraged. There's no discussion around that people remain totally committed to net zero. So mm. I, I, I took that away as a positive. Mm. So maybe you, you tell a little bit what we discussed during this week oh, and the good. progress we've achieved. I would say it's, it's a bit of deep concerns and inspiration. And interesting enough, it's a mix of the both. I would like to share that in the rooms uh, where we have been together, it's not debating climate yet. It's not debating whether Paris is important. It's not pointing fingers at others, but it's really about how do we together as a community break through. Mm -hmm. um, there is a lot of um, uh, discussion on, about actions and what we need to do. And what more and more of us are really realizing is that there is as much as we can do as individuals and leaders of our corporates. Um, but um, it's truly about reaching out what we do together and what we can do together with policymakers and uh, uh, people leading governments um, and countries uh, of the world. And of course, we also made a survey uh, with the companies mm -hmm. and between uh, 19 and 20, uh, we reduced scope one, which is our own operations uh, emissions by 22%, which mm -hmm. I found encouraging. Of course, mm -hmm. there's much more work to be done on other aspects of it, but that was encouraging uh, to super see. Super encouraging. Kistan, can you t uh, uh, looking ahead, what are the priorities for the Alliance? Yeah, sure. So we discussed priorities. Uh, of course, we try to get more members. It's always important to have a critical mass. We're going to continue the advocacy uh, with governments at the COP and everywhere, wherever we can. We need to make more progress on scope two, which is the green energy, buying green energy, which mm. is sometimes a challenge depending on the countries we're in. But we are committed to do that. Um, and then probably the, the, the initiative which has the biggest potential is uh, scope free. So mm. it's basically all of our suppliers. So we have, we have high hopes that uh, by working together, we can create some standards and, mm. and see how we can really influence that. Because if you have 150,000, probably together we have half a million to a million of suppliers. Mm. So the effect is uh, huge. The potential effect is huge and it's the time to do it, I think. So lots on our plate for this year and we're looking forward. Looking forward to it. Yeah.